Hey guys, Mr. Farrell here. Here's a short video just to get us started watching these YouTube videos for course two. So let's talk about these polygons that we looked at on, maybe it was either Thursday or Friday. So I'm going to draw one. Let's see. It's going to kind of look like this. So what I did, I tried to make the sides equal. Now this is a pentagon because it's got five sides. Now I can indicate, even if it isn't true, if I do this, if I put these little slashes there, I can say all these five sides are equal and we call that congruent. Let's see, I better write that down, congruent. Now, that just means that it's something that's measured and it's equal, okay? So if you could measure this, these two sides, they would be equal. Anyway, um, but what if we said something like this? Um, this side is equal to this side, but it's not equal to those three. Well, we would maybe put two slashes there. So that indicates that these two are equal and these three are equal. Okay, so there's that. Now here's this pentagon again, and all sides are equal, which means that it is regular. A regular pentagon has all equal sides, and that's true for all polygons. Poly just means many. It means a shape with many sides. So irregular might look something like this, Whoa. Now, that's still a pentagon because, check it out, it's still got five sides. One, two, three, four, five sides. And it's actually, uh, there's a special name for it. We didn't talk about that in class, but it's concave. Look, it's kind of caved in. That's how I remember it. That's concave, and this is convex. All right. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, looking at diagrams in this course where things are parallel. Let's go to the next slide. So check out this shape. This is a quadrilateral. It's a quadrilateral quad because it's got four sides. Now, um, you may just look at it and say, oh, look, those sides are equal. Well, you can't really say that unless in the diagram it indicates it. And how they indicate it is, you might say, these two sides are equal. And with two slashes, those two sides are equal. Okay, now this is a parallelogram. Now it's a parallelogram because it's got two sets of parallel sides. Let's see, and we indicate that they're parallel with these little arrows, like that. Sometimes students get confused between um, whether it's congruent or whether it's parallel. Just remember the arrows, they always have little arrows. Um, means that it is parallel. So here is a parallelogram. Lots of marks on there because you got two sets of parallel sides and two sets of congruent sides. This is one of my favorite shapes because I actually call it a parallelogram, not a parallelogram because of obvious reasons. Anyway, so I hope you watched this. Actually, if you're at this point in the video, you obviously watched it. Um, but I'm going to check to see um, how many students watch. I'm going to send you guys a, um, a Remind 101. Anyway, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.